Hey everybody, it's Shell here. So, I wanted to give um, everyone um, kind of another update on the wildfire situation here in Clackamas County. Um, I wish the camera would do um, a better job of picking up um, just how incredibly orange um, the sky is here right now never seen anything like it and everything has got um, a strange glow to it um, that didn't have yesterday uh, that's just you're not able to to see on camera um, but the the smoke level is really high and our air quality index has gone from around 67 yesterday to around 317 um, today, um, according to the closest air quality sensor to our house, which is about two miles away. So there is a ton of, of smoke and particulates in the air right now. Um, and certainly um, if you've got breathing issues or asthma or COPD, um, I definitely recommend that um, you wear a respirator um, when you're outside. Um, and try to avoid um, being outside as, as much as you can. So I caught um, part of Kate Brown's um, press conference this afternoon. I haven't had a chance to watch the whole thing yet. I understand that she's invoked the State Conflagration Act um, or the Fire Conflagration Act for the entire state of Oregon for the first time, which allows the fire marshal um, to direct um, critical resources where they need to be the most. So hopefully that's a good thing. Um, it's my understanding that we're now dealing with 35 uh, wildfires in Oregon. Um, and all together, um, there are about 500 square miles of land, um, which is a lot for, for our little state. So, um, I've definitely talked to um, a lot of people in the last 24 hours um, that have been here in Oregon much longer than I have, and, and they all agree um, that they've never seen anything like this in their lifetime. So, um, what's happening here in Oregon and um, up and down the entire West Coast, um, from California to Washington State, um, is just just unthinkable. Um, I talked to a gentleman last night. Hi, John. Um, over off of Karis Road in 213 near the Spangler Road fire, um, who's been here for 65 years, and um, said that he's he's never seen anything like this here. So uh, I know that. Um, the city of Estacada is now under um, a level three um, go now evacuation order, um, which is just such a huge area. Um, and I, I was also uh, just broken hearted to hear um, that the city of Detroit in Marion County, um, Blue River and Vita in Lane County and Phoenix and Talent in Jackson County um, have all been substantially destroyed, um, to borrow Kate Brown's words today. Uh, I, one of my husband's co-workers, um, his brother um, lives up in Ashland and sent us a picture a little while ago of, of what's left of, of their property um, and, and all that's left of his home, um, their home is, is a, a foundation and part of the chimney. Um, the entire house um, was reduced to, to ashes. Um, there's absolutely nothing else left other than some burned out vehicles that they weren't able to take with them. And those were completely destroyed too. Um, I know Medford um, has also um, sustained severe fire damage and uh, my heart just 
aches for 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 all of these families that have have lost so much and it's my greatest hope that we can get through this crisis um, without a significant loss of life um, to our communities here in Oregon. Um, one of the things that, that I wanted to address, um, especially after watching the, the Clackamas County press conference this morning, is the ARC GIS um, fire incident map, which is the map um, that Clackamas County is, is recommending um, that everybody utilize for up-to-date um, fire incident information. And when I was driving around last night trying to get a sense um, of how close the closest fire was to our house um, and found myself uh, there at 213 where it was closed at Karras Road, um, I pulled into the, the Kirk Company, which has got a, a huge gravel parking lot, um, and it was an easy place to turn around and, and stopped. Um, to talk to um, you know some of the people in the area and get a sense of, of why 213 was closed um, that close in um, and found out about the Spangler Road fire and I immediately checked my ArcGIS map and there was nothing there and I consulted the National Situational Fire Awareness map um, and there it was and so while I'm standing there um, talking to John from up the road there, um, there were all sorts of neighbors coming from both directions on Karras um, and, and, and up in the hills by, by Buckner Road um, wanting to know what was happening as we're standing there in the parking lot with all of this heavy wildfire smoke on the ground around us blowing through the parking lot they had no idea that the Spangler Road fire was there, nor did they have any idea that they were under now a level two evacuation. So you have people in their pajamas at midnight in a panic um, that, that didn't have a clue um, that there was a, a, a new fire closest to them and that their evacuation level had changed because the ArcGIS map um, was not updating. So fast forward to the press conference this morning that Clackamas County held, and no disrespect to all of the people that I know are working super hard right now, 24 hours a day, um, in, in such an unprecedented situation to do their very best. I recognize that. However, the manager I believe she is is of the disaster response team um, was asked a question about the fact that fires are disappearing and reappearing off of the fire map uh, she confirmed that that was accurate and that is indeed happening um, but did not offer really any sort of cohesive response um, about what the problem is and when people can expect it to be resolved. Um, Clackamas County is asking people to use this map to make life and death decisions for themselves and their families um, and they need to be able to rely on it. So uh, the other problem um, that I noticed that came up during one of the questions um, um, during the press conference um, is the fact that the fire map is not clearly delineating um, the boundaries of these fires which is also a, a really critical piece of information to have I realize that um, these fires are a, a rapidly evolving situation but having um, a general idea um, on where they stop and start um, where where the boundary lines are um, is critical information for people to have. Uh, but certainly, <laughs> being able to rely on the fact that the most up-to-date um, information about all of the fires and, and where they're located <laughs> um, is, is, is just absolutely 100% um, important.
and, and cannot be overstated enough. So what our family is doing now um, until they address this issue is that we are utilizing um, other fire incident map resources both from the state of Oregon and nationally that update in real time so that we can cross-reference the ArcGIS map um, with other fire incident map resources so that we know that we're getting the most up-to-date um, information and um, and that we can rely um, on, on the information that we're getting once we've confirmed it from multiple sources. So I will include a few links um, in the description to this video. If you know of any other really great map resources, um, either local or national, um, that you've found, um, please feel free to leave me a comment or um, hit me up on Twitter at purplegimp, P-U-R-P-L-E-G-I-M-P, -E -E, that's me. Um, I'm looking for um, reliable, uh, real-time, up-to-date um, fire incident map information. Um, and, and if you send me another one um, that I don't have um, that's, that's really great, then I'll be sure and, and come back later here and add it to this video description. So they are still accepting um, uh, families evacuating at um, the Clackamas Community College here up the road. Um, and they're also, as far as I know, still accepting large animals, um, livestock at the Clackamas County Fairgrounds. I've also been told that there um, is a couple of new evacuation centers opening, and so I'll be sure and include um, that information as soon as I verify it um, in the video description as well. Uh, thankfully, it's my understanding that today, tonight, um, will be the last of the um, high winds and, and hot air meeting cold front um, weather that has really whipped these fires um, into the, the current frenzy that they're in right now. Um, tomorrow is supposed to bring in um, calmer winds um, and cooler temperatures. So, you know, we're all really crossing our fingers and toes that that's going to give um, the firefighters from around the state um, that, are, that are fighting these fires the, the edge that they need to really get them under control. But that also means um, that tonight is probably going to be another night um, with a rapidly evolving um, fire situations, depending on especially what the wind does. Um, it's really calm right now. Um, it was a lot, um, a lot heavier um, a few hours ago. So I'm hoping that it stays like this. Um, but just be prepared. Um, and that's why it's, it's so critical um, for you to, to really cross-check your fire incident map resources, um, especially uh, if, you're, if you're close to um, the four major fires um, here in Clackamas County out of the 12 um, that are really presenting um, a critical threat to, to, to people and property. So, you know, I've said it before, um, but please, if you reach a level two evacuation, um, I would just go. Um, don't wait until it's level three. And certainly if um, you reach a level three evacuation and they come knocking on your door, as, as I've been told um, by both the Oregon City Police and Clackamas County Police, uh, sorry, sheriffs last night um, that they've had to do, um, and going door to door, knocking and telling people that it was time to leave. And once you reach that point, um, you have to leave right then. Um, and it's just absolutely critical that you've got, you know, your medications together. If you take them, um, important papers, um, you know, your f photographs, um, you know, things like that, you know, your pets, um, your livestock, um, and, and most importantly, you know, you and your family are ready um, um, to go because so many of these fires, um, the, the conditions change 
so quickly and you go from thinking um, that you've got plenty of time um, to having to having no time left at all and so uh, you know, I don't want to see people um, racing racing the flames because they they pushed evacuating to the last minute and, I, and I've already seen um, some of those videos from the Malala area last night and and they were absolutely terrifying so um, you know I know that nobody wants to walk away um, from their homes or their businesses especially not knowing if they're going to be there um, when you return but all of those things can be replaced and 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 your life is precious so in closing um, I would just ask if um, if you can, if you've got neighbors that are elderly or mobility challenged um, or disabled, chronically ill, um, please consider, you know, knocking on their door, um, just checking in with them and making sure that they're okay, um, especially if you're preparing to evacuate, um, you know, making sure that, that they also have a way to evacuate um, and there's, there's, um, resources that you can call um, locally here in Clackamas County if you need assistance evacuating and I'll, I'll include that information in my video description as well but just knowing um, when you're um, alone and and you're um, in this situation and especially if you're if you're older or you're or you're chronically ill or you've got mobility issues um, and you're living by yourself it's already a lot to process. Um, uh, you know, I can tell you as somebody that, that is chronically ill and disabled, um, trying to figure out how to navigate the whole coronavirus world. And so having these unprecedented wildfires um, with conditions changing so rapidly on top of all of that and, and on top of, you know, um, trying to, to navigate everything is, is, is really overwhelming. And especially for those that don't have um, a great support system, just knowing that, um, that your neighbors are checking in on you and making sure that you're okay and making sure that you're aware of, of the current fire danger situation closest to you um, can mean everything. So I know that um, our state is, is full of, of, of kind and, and loving and generous people. Um, it's also my understanding that Governor Brown has um, directed, uh, I, I think it was the emergency management um, team to request um, assistance from the federal government um, and from President Trump himself. Um, it's my hope that Trump will um, put aside politics for now and um, allow the federal government to um, reach out with the resources um, that the entire West Coast is, is going to need um, to get through uh, a, such, an, such an unprecedented time. So, um, I really hope that that, that can happen sooner um, rather than later um, because um, we're really going to all need um, federal resources in addition to state resources um, to get to get through this 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 time and especially for those communities um, that have essentially been completely destroyed by these fires um, you know <laughs> It's going to take um, all hands on deck to make things better for these for these towns um, and for the families and the people that live in them. So I hope uh, I hope we can find a way to, to all all work together um, and support each other. Um, I know that this is a a difficult time, a, a difficult year for our country and I, at least for me um, situations like this really drive home the point that 
we may have so many differences between us, um, but we're all um, essentially connected and, and the same um, when it comes to the things that, that matter to us. I mean, we all, we all want our families to be safe. Um, we all want somewhere safe to, to lay our heads and, and finding a way to put aside our differences um, here on the West Coast and embrace our neighbors and really support each other whether or not we're on the, the same party line or not, I think is, is, is so important. And so I wish everyone the absolute best, um, no matter who you plan to vote for, we're, we're all in this together. We're all human um, and we all need each other right now. So that's my 1.9 cents. Um, Please stay safe and look out for each other and um, hopefully this will all be over soon. Take care. Bye now.